Well, that certainly was the best whatever it was I've ever had. <laughs> it's the same as we give your brother to make him better. <laughs> the goat gizzard stew. Greek health food. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you're really here. Well, actually, uh, I was determined that I was not going to see you again. And then halfway to Akros, I asked the fisherman to turn the boat around and he brought me back. I'm afraid to ask, but why? I mean, if this is looking a gift horse in the mouth, then forget the question. I kept hearing the last words you said to me. I know you're tired, but when you feel up to it, I have one more thing I'd like to say. I'd like to hear what you have to say right now. I am left. Well, that's because that's all I thought I had. To say because I didn't feel like dealing with the hurt and the anger and all the frustration. You know, when I woke up and I saw you sitting over there, I thought I was dreaming. You know, when I realized that you and the baby were going to be fine, all I really wanted to do was get away from you as far away and as quickly as possible. But that's tough to do on an island where you have to hop a ride with a non-scheduled fisherman or just take a nice long swim. What did you and Craig talk about on the beach? Well, he tried to explain your part in all this, that you didn't want to hurt me and you didn't want to interfere with Barbara and Hal's marriage and all that. But I didn't want to hear that. I wanted to hear about me. So on the boat ride to Akros, something that you said kept ringing in my ears about you never having the chance to be a mother to Leanne. Yeah. Why did you come back, Tom? Amidst all the frustration and all the anger, I realized something. I love you. You listen to me right now. What is going on? Mama, just calm down, okay? I, I swear that Casey can fill you in on everything right now, but I gotta make some phone calls. I gotta track down John in Italy if possible. Then I gotta get back to my sister and my new nephew. All right, but... What did you say? I mean, Margo had a baby? And it's a boy? Is she all right? Is the baby all right? Ma, Ma, look, Casey has the whole story, all right? He'll tell you. Just, just, don't get upset. Upset? I'm not upset, unless there's a reason for me to be upset. Mama, Margot is fine. The baby's fine, too, I swear. I just, I've got to go find her doctor and bring him back to the island. So, I'm hanging up now. Don't you dare! And what do you mean you're going to find her doctor now? I mean, who the hell delivered the baby? An old Greek midwife with at least 50 years' experience. Mama, please, just talk to Casey. I haven't slept. I'm exhausted. I gotta... So the obvious here seems to be that our love is almost indestructible. Yeah, I know what you mean. When I first got here, all I wanted to do was keep calling you and just to make sure that you were okay. I have to be totally honest with you here, Margo. I'm feeling a lot of a lot of conflicting things, but I still could never imagine leaving you and then starting a life with someone else. Me either. I've made plans, by the way. I, I'm made plans to, to move to Switzerland, start a new life when we're strong enough to travel, just, just me and the baby. Switzerland, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I, I have a job possibility there with um, the Zurich police. And you have it set up for me. What about Hal? What are you going to tell him? I'm not telling Hal anything. Can you live with that? 
What about his rights? What about this baby's rights? You know, this father? disappearance was about two things. It was about not hurting you and about not destroying Hal's marriage. Now, six months ago, could you live with the fact that your wife was carrying another man's child, Hal's child? I'm not sure that I'm living with this fact yet. I mean, let's face it, I, I searched for you, I found you. I find out that you're pregnant, you go into labor and you have this baby, and then I find out that it's Hal's. I mean, it's a lot to deal with, but still, after the baby was born, I still couldn't leave until I knew that you guys were going to be okay. And then I bet you just wanted to run so far away. I did. Oh, God, I never wanted to hurt you, Tom. I never wanted to. I love you. Well, I'm glad. Maybe there is a way. 